The late adopter. Hi, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel, to the new video. Uh, right now, doing Throne. It's uh, down by 1% or something like that. Uh, nothing to be feared about. It's actually, the re I'm gonna show you, it's retesting some kind of support. So it's actually pretty bullish. It's down there, but it's very, very bullish. So we're gonna look at uh, what's actually happening with Throne. But before we start, check out the Telegram link down below. A uh, nice community, thousand people. Uh, very cozy, very nice. If you wanna chat about crypto, go there. Also, Press the sub button, I'm getting like 10k subs soon, so pump the numbers, man, pump the numbers. If you get 10k subs, we're gonna do live stream tonight. That, that's gonna be nice. That said, also check the Patreon if you like altcoins. Uh, we got a, we got a lot of uh, doing like 50 altcoins every day on uh, Patreon. That's it, let's get, let's get into the charts, I'm gonna talk more about Patreon later. Ah, it looks nice. It looks nice. So what we're gonna do is bring out all the lines and make you confused. So basically, this bottom down here, there was some kind of resistance lines uh, that we had to break. Like we can, we can remove those. We can remove those. And now we can look at this last one uh, top over here. Uh, we bro uh, broke it yesterday on the daily, and today we have been actually uh, going back down to test the line as uh, as uh, support and uh, the support held so we got support at uh, 0 0.13 that's nice so but this candle has to close above 0 0.13 but i have a confidence it will do but it has still has to do for confirmation and that's how confirmations uh, work so we got some targets on the way up uh, 17 20 22 and uh, they're gonna we we are wondering if they are going to be hit so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at uh, that uh, macd is very uh, nice uh, so we're not going to look at macd anymore we're going to look at we're gonna look at at uh, daily uh, rubber band index uh, basically if it's stretched out it has to come down if it's not stretched out it doesn't have to come down so rubber band index is very nice so basically we are we're sitting right on uh, 71 you can see here once we get to the area of, of uh, 50 or uh, sorry 85 or something like that up here and up here right then you get these kind of sideways movements or uh, consolidation periods right but right right we are, we are nowhere there we are at 71 level so there is no reason just uh, why we should stop here and it's been like uh, uh, green candle and red candle green candle red candle green green red candle so this is gonna go faster up i think it's uh, gonna try to go for some kind of small parabolic move maybe up here and maybe something like this uh depends on how this is gonna play out this is assumption so don't take too seriously uh, but the next target should be uh, 0 0.17 and uh, i don't think see see i don't see this coming down uh, anytime uh, anytime soon on the weekly chart we are kind of high at 86 uh 86 on the weekly uh but it's no danger because it's only when you get about uh, on the weekly above 90 or something like that, that uh, you might have actually experienced some correction here it got uh, 82 but this is already done so this uh, uh, right now is at 87 so next move next uh, all-time high on the weekly uh, rubber band index should be above this one over here around 90 or something like that so we're gonna uh, we gonna follow that and see how that plays out that's it uh, that's the rubber band index and now we're gonna look at some moving averages that we have up here uh, 10 moving average and on the weekly uh, on the weekly chart we are extended but not extend from the 10 moving average which is uh, very nice because we can it means we can actually continue starting going up on the daily chart we are hugging the 10 moving average and this is perfect perfect build up to actually uh, bounce off so if you think that this move up here was a big move just wait until it starts bouncing off of the 10 moving average because it's gonna do these moves like over here like it's gonna bounce real hard above you can see it was hugging the 10 moving average the 10 moving average being, being the white line it was hugging the 10 moving average right and then it bounced off it so it, it bounced above it it closed above this top over here it confirmed it's now confirmed it as support at 0 30 and once that that i'm thinking tomorrow day after or something like that uh, it's you're gonna see big moves you're gonna be see big moves that's assumption that's it this can go of course down as always everything can go down you saw what bitcoin is bitcoin goes down one percent everything goes down ten percent bitcoin goes down two percent everything goes down twenty percent so we also have to check out on, on bitcoin what's bitcoin doing but right now bitcoin looks healthy but you can always dump you never know that that's how the crypto works but this looks to me very nice uh let's see what's actually uh, happening here uh, if there are some some uh, support lines happening down here uh, we can do it something like this wait uh, this looks like some kind of a support line uh, down here uh, let's uh, because this uh, this very nice support line so I, I don't expect it to go below this support line uh, when it starts going down if, if it starts doing that then you are kind of 
it's it's gonna lose him momentum and it's gonna it's it's gonna look terrible so basically we don't want to go below the support line down here and on the upside this actually top is not confirmed yet or maybe it is let's let's see see that uh what do we have here something like it. i'm thinking uh, somewhere around here let me zoom out uh, i cannot tell you with certainty but uh, maybe it's also something down here uh, let's see so it might be some kind of a rising wedge we have to see we have to see because this top is not confirmed yet so we have to see what's actually going to happen with that top but anyways there there is no decent uh, pattern forming right now beside this support line maybe there is i haven't checked it that much out but I think uh, if this holds right now, this this 0 0.30 line holds on the daily, this four hour on the daily, that uh, tomorrow is gonna be a very nice day. You can see here all the, the week went all the way down to this uh, support line down there. So it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, it's bullish, although it's not up for like 40% like uh, Dogecoin today, but uh, it's looking nice. So all in all, uh, I have uh, this is in a, still in an uptrend. It's going higher up. You just have say these small pullbacks on the way up because it, it just it goes too much uh, too fast. That said, okay, guys, subscribe to the channel, uh, 10k subs, we're trying to hit that, also like the video because YouTube always know that shebang. And to chill my channel, on this channel, with this altcoin channel, we got to do like six, uh, six altcoin videos every single day, but that's kind of not enough, so we got uh, also Patreon, uh, Patreon with altcoins daily video, where we do 50 altcoins every single day. So we rank them up by what's good, what's not. Uh, we rank them up by uh, what's uh, like no tanks category and what's pumping and stuff like that. So if you wanna get, more, if you're not sure what you should uh, do, like what coins are good and what coins are bad, that might be something for you. So might check it out. That said, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, gonna probably do a throne update tomorrow as well. So make sure to come back tomorrow and check it out as well. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.